in Huntington Beach here, we consider ourselves world leaders in life-saving. We have a real high-level training for our guards. We take them through a rigorous training program. We screen them. We only hire the best, and we have ongoing training. We don't wait until a situation becomes a full-blown rescue. What we teach our guards to do is, number one, recognize a potential victim. Number two, look for the trouble spots in your area. Keep the potential victim out of the trouble spots. In other words, diffuse the problem before it becomes a full-blown rescue. It's called a preventative action. Preventive action may be as simple as seeing a bus from out of state pull up into the parking lot and we recognize that people probably haven't been exposed to the ocean environment. Our guards will go ahead and contact them before they even set foot on the sand, give them some beach safety tips, let them know that it's not a big swimming pool, and direct them to the safest area to swim in. We like to talk to people and tell them how to be safe. We want people to recreate and have fun, but we also want them to be safe. So one of the first things we warn people about is what we call a rip current. A rip currents are responsible for over 90% of the rescues that we make here. What it is, is it's a current of water that actually starts as a wave washes up on shore. As the water recedes and seeks its own level, it's going to find a hole. Gravity is going to pull it back out into the ocean. And what it forms is a current that pulls from shallow water out to deep water. We teach our lifeguards to recognize rip currents, recognize holes, get out to people who they recognize as potential victims, get them out of the area, move them to a safe area so that they can swim and recreate and not have any problems. For Huntington Beach, because of the training level of our lifeguards and the operation that we run, it's one of the safest beaches in the world to come to. We can handle anything that this beach throws at us. We're all trained EMTs, we're all trained in aquatic safety, we also do a little bit of beach enforcement, so we keep the beach safe and sound for the families that like to come down. People like to come down for birthdays at the fire rings, people that go swimming in the water, even if you're not a great swimmer, the lifeguards are going to take care of you, make sure that you have a good day and go home safe and sound. 